Right, <laughs> it's Chris here, Radio Manual 40. Um, joined by Mr. Real Elgrade, who's on his own channel, which is on good. his own channel. Let Chris introduce this. Yeah. Um, so, sometimes we do things that are slightly uncomfortable on this channel. Yeah. So, sometimes it's not not a comfortable fit. You know. Yeah, we're absolutely. Not, we're not talking like in a slightly shifty or, or you know, maybe a little bit uh, fruity kind of way. Sometimes we deal with a subject that most people don't like, and today we're going to deal with collaboration. Collaboration, which is again slightly uncomfortable, I think. A, a slightly uncomfortable mm. collaboration, maybe. Yeah. For some of you. For some of you. Yeah. So today we've got a beer that's brewed by Dogfish Head. Yeah. Wait for it. Dogfish Head and Charles Wells. And it's called DNA. Yeah. So Charles Wells of UK. Wells, Wells and Youngs. Mmm. That's where the uncomfortable work comes in, because Dogfish Head. One of the top brewers. Dogfish Head are one of the top American brewers. Um, they've collaborated with a UK brewery, quite a large UK brewery, and and I suspect on this that it's got something to do with um, Jim Robinson's ties in America. Jim Robinson is was the head brewer of Wells and Youngs before he retired. Um, he's got a big connection in America, so I reckon he's pulled. Pulled a little number on this one to get to get Dogfish Head to collaborate with them. Um, it's a New World IPA. Now, the thing that strikes me a little bit with this is um, in America, an IPA is classed at anything at above 6% ABV. Yeah. But what have we got here? 4.5%. Yeah. And I'm wondering if that is Charles Wells influence on this beer to say 4.5 you know uh, yeah yeah let, let's I, just, I, I mean it says an anglo-american mashup I mean, that phrase makes me uncomfortable of a wells classic and a reduction of dogfish head 6 minute ipa so what what's the wells classic it doesn't say what that is mm. uh, the 60 minute ipa is a well-known brew and we've had that yeah so why are they why why are they mentioning what this yeah classic it, is what is it is it banana bread beer is or that, is, it is that your classic bombardier yeah. well yeah rick mel's dead now so you can't have it yeah is it bombardier mixed with 60 minute ipa let's get it open let's have a look there you go there's one for you get it open So first things first, credit where credit's due, it looks like an IPA. Yeah. It's got that American nice colour. IPA particularly. Yeah. Okay. Nice golden colour beer, one finger, white head. What do you think of the artwork? Um, again, it's, it's, I don't know, it's, it's almost, it's almost as if Dogfish Head have said, take this idea back to the UK with our blessing. Mm. Um, you're a big brewery, you know what you're doing. Um, get on with it. Yeah, that's that's what I think has happened here. I found this in the discount supermarket in Cardiff, um, in the British beer section. Yeah, uh, and well, we haven't tasted it, we haven't sniffed it, we haven't done anything. Yeah, but it'd be interesting to see where we think it belongs. I think. I think it's a bit wild. It's a bit the the label is a bit. What what do you think? It's a uh, bit. It's a bit. It's a bit chavy, frankly. Yeah, it's a bit chav chavy. It's 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 trying to be in your face. I don't know. I reckon. I reckon we should get the aroma. Let let's, the let's, talk. Yeah. Let, let the let the beer talk from now on. And if this was in the British beer section, it, it belongs there. It belongs there, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm quite surprised. Well, I reckon we should review it and then give a give a kind of verdict at the end of this. Let's let's taste it. Oh dear. Uh, oh dear, oh dear. No. This, this is Wells and Young's marketing team going out to America. So can we borrow your label? Can we borrow your label? Can we take it back to the UK and absolutely ruin it? Can we, can we sniff your hops and then claim that we've got a relationship with this? This is, this is, um, do you know what? I pick up better Banks' spirits than this and a little for a quid. This is £2.50 for a 330 bottle. It says New World IPA. 
I've had better New World IPAs come out of my wee hole. <laughs> that, quite frankly, is awful. Mm. Awful. Do you know? Do you know if it didn't have that shabby label, and if it didn't have DNA New World IPA written all over it? Do you know if it just said regular session bitter? Well, I'd be it? happy with that. Oh, even then. Do you know what, I can taste the mess, I can taste the headache for me. Yeah. There's some beers in the UK that you can taste the headache in them, and this is one of them. And it's quite annoying, it's quite annoying. I, I, I would say if this had regular session bitter written on this label, I'd be quite happy with that. I drink it, I drink it, yeah. I would I would kind of get on with it, I, I would probably not review it, but They've tricked, they've tricked us into thinking this might be a premium product. This might be a premium product. I, I, I suspect that Dogfish Head might be a bit embarrassed by this. Yeah, you should be. Yeah. You really should be. Yeah. For shame, Dogfish Head. Um, Any American bloggers? Of course. Uh, yeah, please, get, if you can get hold of this, tell, tell us that we're wrong. I'm going to send this to Dogfish Head on Twitter, Facebook and, and, and their email, um, this review. Um... And th there's a perception in America, and I've come across this perception with another quite big brewery in New York City. I've been talking to them about a collaboration in the UK, and, they, and they're desperate to get camera involved. And, and my argument is, why, would, why are you so desperate to get camera involved? Seabirds, where is that? It's... Uh, anywhere outside of the UK, where I've been to Poland, I've been, um, talking to Americans, Swedish, they all think cameras, this... This, this kind of almost a quality mark. It, it, cameras an organisation of, of, of making money. They've got no interest whatsoever about, about beer. First of all, that, and the thing that annoys me most about camera, and this has been on my, getting on my tips for about a year now, is that they have their own separate gay camera section. Right? Yeah. yeah. Now, that's not fine, because, do you know what, beer, as far as I'm aware, has never excluded gay people no. to the point where they have to go and have their own organisation about it. We have wives in there, at this point we have wives in there, we're not, we're not sitting on the gay community, we're, not, we're just saying here that, that... You shouldn't choose to exclude anybody with your, with your positioning and how you set up your website. Yeah. And, and what you do with, well, uh, this beer is for women, this beer is for gay people, this beer... What? Yeah, it's, it's just... It's beer, so old-fashioned. It's very so old-fashioned. And this, this, is just completely shit. Dire. Yeah. I think we should throw it in the garden. Yeah! Yeah. yeah. Go on. Yeah. Awful yeah, stuff. Last, last check. Yeah. Awful stuff. Just, just to give you the taste notes. Tiny, tiny touch of orange. Yeah. Maybe in the background, tiny, tiny bit of grapefruit. And that was it. And then it was uh, proper stinky. This has been the back shelf in Little for four months. And uh, drink three of them is going to give you a massive headache yeah. in the morning. It's gone. Gone. No, no okay, over. thanks for watching. Put your comments in the comments box. Oh, thanks rating. for it. Rating. Well, I, I, I don't know. Three. I was thrown in the garden. Three. <coughs> it's not worth drinking. No. Thanks for watching, put your comments in the comments box, please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.